cower, puny humans. I just bought the most powerful consumer graphics card for my PC. The mighty GeForce GTX 1080. It's the... What? Not again? <laughs> Stop me if you've heard this story before. You went out and bought the most powerful consumer GPU on the planet, then one day later, NVIDIA releases an even faster one at the same damn price. And that's just what happened again. Meet the $700 GeForce GTX 1080 Ti, a card that absolutely kicks a $700 GeForce GTX 1080 in the butt. Featuring 12 billion transistors, 3,584 CUDA cores, and boost clock speeds of 1.6 GHz, the GTX 1080 Ti even takes it to 11. Literally, equipped with 11 gigabytes of GDDR5+, the 1080 Ti has 3 gigabytes more RAM than the 1080. Why 11 gigabytes? Because it's better. Hardcore! Well, you know what, GeForce GTX 1080 Ti? I went out and bought something even better than you the mighty Titan X Pascal. At more than a grand, it's the most powerful GPU on the planet, period. And no other card can touch it in gaming. What? Not again? <laughs> yes, Titan X Pascal, the GeForce GTX 1080 Ti even has your number. Although it has one gigabyte less RAM, and slightly less bandwidth, its boost clock and ability to even overclock to two gigahertz makes even the Titan X Pascal pointless. Both cards are basically fully capable of playing all modern games set to 11 in visual quality at 4K resolution. Don't even try that with your GTX 1080. And here's the kicker. The GeForce GTX 1080 Ti is almost half the cost of the 1200 bucks you'd have to pay for a Titan X Pascal. Hardcore!